we have found that when Sudhir is investing rupees 1 lakh in a bank at a rate of 10%, then at the end of two years, he is getting back rupees 1 lakh 21,000. This is provided that the money is being compounded annually. So in this case, we find that after investing rupees 1 lakh, his money grew because it was compounded annually. And at the end of two years, he got back a sum that was 21,000 rupees more than what he had invested. So we found the amount with the help of this formula. So we see that when a certain amount of money is being kept in a bank and the bank is offering a certain rate of compound interest, that money grows. So over here, Sudhir's money has grown from rupees 1 lakh to rupees 1 lakh 21,000. Now there was a plot of land that Sudhir wanted to buy. Now initially that plot of land was priced at rupees 1 lakh and this was two years ago. Now once two years had elapsed, presently the plot of land is priced at rupees 1 lakh 21,000. So we saw that Sudhir's money had grown from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 21,000 and the value of land had also grown along with it. Not only that, there is another similarity. We saw that Sudhir's money grew from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 21,000 at a rate of 10% compounded annually by the bank. Even in the case of the value of land, it grew at a rate of 10%. Now obviously, we can't use the terms compounded annually in the case of land. So what do we call this? We say that there has been a certain growth in the value of land in two years. So we saw that just like money can grow in a given span of time, even the value of land or any other commodity or entity can grow. So in this case, both the value of land as well as the money grew from 1 lakh to rupees 1 lakh 21,000 at the end of two years. So we can say that when money is growing, we apply this formula in order to find out the final value which we get after n years. So this is the value, that is the amount for compound interest when this money is being compounded annually. Now what formula do we apply if we have to find out what the value of land will be after a given number of years? That formula will be similar to this formula. We write, let's say that the value initially of the particular land is V0. If the value of this land is growing at a certain rate, let's say at R%, percent, then I can write 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of N into V0 will be equal to V, where V is the value of land after N years. Now, as you can see, this formula is quite similar to the formula for amount when this particular sum of money is compounded annually. Thus, V equal to V0 multiplied by 1 plus R by 100 to the power of N will give me the value of land after N years, provided the initial value is V0 and it grows at a rate of R%. Percent. So this R%, percent, which is known as the rate of compound interest in case of money, has a particular name in this case as well. R is known as the growth rate. Or in other words, the rate at which the value or the price of a plot of land or any other commodity grows. So over here we find that the value of land has grown from V0 to V in a given number of years, that is N years. So now let us see using this concept how we can solve a very simple problem. The problem that has been given to us is the population of a town is 3,20,000 and it is growing at the rate of 12%. So we have to find out that at the end of three years, what is the population of the town? Now we have been given the value of V0 as 3,20,000, the value of R, that is growth rate, as 12% and the value of N, that is the time period, as three years. So I simply replace the values 
and let's see what I get. So 1 plus 12 by 100 to the power of 3. So this equation is going to give me the population of the town or the value V after 3 years. So let's see what happens when I simplify this equation. On simplifying this, I get 112 divided by 100 to the power of 3. So this particular equation on further simplification is going to yield a value of 4495769696. In other words, 4,49,576.96. Now obviously the population of a town cannot be a fraction. Why? Because a human being cannot exist as a fraction. So I round this value off and I write 4,49,577. So this particular value is going to give me the population of the town after three years where the population grows at a rate of 